Hey everyone, so as you know, it's been a pretty mild winter so far. So personally, I'm just patiently awaiting for a little more safe ice before I kick off my ice fishing season. But in the meantime, what I thought I'd do was make a video for you guys showing you some of the stuff that I'm gonna be using to get bit this year. Starting with my flasher. It's a uh, Markham VX1P. I've had it for about a year and I'm just over the moon with this unit. It's, it's such a quality unit. And I think one of my favorite features about it is this transducer. It's, it's so powerful that if you got a bottle of water with you and you just pour a little bit of water on the ice and then set that transducer down, it'll read through the ice and tell you what depth you're at. So I think that's pretty cool and it allows me to eliminate a lot of water really quickly. So as far as rod selection goes for panfish in the winter time, that's what I like to fish for. For me, it's just fun. But the rods you want to buy are something like a, uh, a micro light, an ultra light, or even, even you could get away with a medium light, but something with a, uh, a stiff tip. If you notice, this one has, has a lot of backbone on it. And perch and crappie have pretty soft mouths. I mean, crappie are called paper mouths for a reason. But if you're gonna buy equipment, do better than I did for your first first one, and do not, under any circumstances, buy a rod like this. Uh, I mean, it's a sexy looking rod for sure, and I mean, a lot of guys get hung up on the looks of a rod, but this isn't gonna get it done for you. From my own personal experience, uh, last year I missed like six fish in the span of an hour fishing this rod and after that I just said no thanks that hurt and I got to go with something else so get yourself a stiffer rod and you'll be happier that you did all right so as far as lure selection goes I keep it pretty simple I don't take like 300 lures out with me I think that's ridiculous but uh, I try to cover my bases so I'll have like my basic search baits like this jigging wrap it's not really a jigging wrap I think it's like a Northland but you know what I mean? This usually gets it done for me. Uh, it gets down there fast and uh, it gets bit. So I like using these or small little tingler spoons like this. But I think my most productive bait last year, and I'm saying this and I've only really had a moderate amount of success. This year I'll, I'll do much better. But last year, I don't know what it is, but this forage jig, it just, it just absolutely killed. So, I mean, there's a bunch you could go with. Plastics are always good too. And uh, this year I think it's just going to be really hard to beat. I just have a feeling that it's going to be really hard to beat a, a tungsten jig with a, uh, a maggot on it. So, that's about all I'll take with me. I'll just have kind of duplicates of that but those are my staples and that's what I'm gonna stick with so yeah here's just more of my tackle again I don't go crazy I, I keep it pretty basic but uh, yeah there's a lot of options you could go with those are the ones I go with take it or leave it I hope you guys like the video and as always if uh, you have any suggestions or comments comment below and I hope you I hope you enjoyed it all right have a good one Peace out.